What's up, everybody? Um, hi, it's a new day, it's a new life. Super excited. Finally, gonna let you guys know that kind of epiphany, that breakthrough that I had at the three day event I had with my coach, Colin Lindsay, was um, financial mastery. So, um, yeah, there was something that I took out of it that I didn't really think I was expecting or know was gonna happen because it was totally, you know, like unrelated to numbers or anything of that sort. Um, so, basically, I believe it was on the second day um, we're gonna go do this meditation type breathing thing kind of like the Wim Hof breathing where it's like <sighs> and so you kind of continuously do that breath for an extended period of time the most I've done it before was like 20 30 minutes and you know I've, I burst it out into tears it's crazy what it does it sounds it definitely sounds crazy but you got to look into it and I'll, I'll post links and stuff but it's literally just from doing that breathing and it puts you into this crazy zone or it kind of just like opens up your subconscious and like helps you release a lot of things that you may be thinking about or holding back. And it's literally just from the breath. We didn't take nothing. It was literally just went in there, laid on the mat and just started going. And of course, you know, with the guidance of an instructor in this point, um, Colton, and, uh, you know, it's just some music in the background. And we did that for about an hour and a half to two hours. And I remember, um, probably like an hour, hour and a half in, um, I was still going, your hands start cramping up, you're like back, like everything just starts cramping up. You get like, it's called like a crab hands, I believe it is. It starts cramping up like crazy and you, you just like want to start moving your body, but you continue doing the breath, like, like just continuously doing it. And it just feels wild. It does feel wild. And you start getting like a little bit emotional, like you start thinking about things. And I remember Colton coming up to me and he's like, you know how funny you look right now just to like incite, um, you know, laughter. And he starts laughing like in a really funny way. So I just start bursting out laughing you know, while I'm laying on the mat, eyes closed, going, <sighs> and I'm just laughing, laughing, just hysterically laughing, just feeling full joy of laughter. Nothing, no worries, no nothing, just pure laughter. So that opened me up a little bit. And, um, you know, I, right after he left, it like opened up something and basically... I, it just unlocked a, a different level for me. I started seeing like with my eyes closed, like f I guess you could say like fractals or like it was flowers, like kind of connected, like rounding kind of like that. And that's all I saw like in front of me. And so I started looking at that and then um, I, I don't even remember doing it, but I remember going like this and I was kind of like holding myself like this. And I remember at the corner of my eye, I saw my 16 year old self. And when, uh, um, just to give you reference, whenever I was 16, my mom allowed me to drop out of high school, pursue my dreams and do everything I ever wanted. And if it wasn't for that day, I don't think I'd be where I am because she trusted me to do that. Um, so I had a lot of high expectations. I didn't know what I was gonna do or where I was gonna go, but I knew I wanted to do something. So I remember seeing my 16 year old self, his face on the corner of my eyes. And then I remember, I remember him just saying, he's like, I'm so proud of you. He's like, you did it, dude. He's like, you did everything that I told you you can do. You fucking did it. And I just remember my hands were numb. So it felt like he was hugging me. Like he was hugging me and releasing me. You know what I mean? Like I got that validation from him. You know, my child self, my 16 year old self. And he was right here saying, you fucking did it. And I was just overwhelmed and I just started freaking bawling, just crying, 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 releasing, you know, like so much, you know, like all the expectations that I had, you know what I mean? It just like all fell down because it felt like I did it, you know what I mean? And of course, I'm still going to try to do new things, but I felt like I had the validation from him. And I remember right before we went into do the meditation, I went on FaceTime with my mom out where the resort was, where all the beach and stuff like that well, I was just talking to her. And I remember her just telling me, she's like, I'm so proud of you. She's like, I'm so proud of you. And um, that fucking hit me again. <laughs> and I just started crying more. And it came to a realization in me. I was like, I today, I got the validation from the two most important people. The one that gave me life two times, the day I was born and the day she allowed me to follow my dreams. Two times, I got the validation from her that she's proud of me and I did it. And then the validation from my crazy 16-year-old self um, saying that I fucking did it. So now it's just like, I feel like everything from now on is just like extra, you know what I mean? And that's why I, I've been saying it a lot. And if, if you're close to me, you know, I've been saying it a lot. Like I could die tomorrow and I'll be fucking happy with what I've done. I'd be so happy. Like I am, I'm fulfilled. You know what I mean? Like life's hard. I'm not going to say it's not fucking difficult in the meantime, but I feel like I've done plenty. You know what I mean? So if I was to pass away, which I don't want to, <laughs> I want to live a very long life. Um, I could say I live life. 
I could I could really say that <laughs> that I live life, and um, it, it that's that's what hit me. It went full circle because it was like, that's why I've been saying that because the inside of me knows it's true. The 16 year old self knows I did everything I was supposed to do, and then my mother gave me validation that I did everything I was supposed to do as well. <laughs> so. It was just such an epiphany moment and like ever since that day, I mean, I'm, even recently I've been waking up excited, but I feel so freaking relieved and excited and just ready to give life and wake up. And I always say this now too, like new day, new life. Every single day is a new life and I'm super excited about everything and I want challenges, I want difficulties, I want goodness, I want to inspire, I want to help my people, you know what I mean? Like that's what drives me every day because there's a lot of people who don't have hope and they don't have uh, a voice in their head saying that they can do it or what to do you know what I mean and I want to be that voice for a lot of people and um that was just probably the one of the if not it's probably the best day of my life because it was like I just won the freaking Super Bowl in my mind you know what I mean like I, I I did it you know what I mean and now it's just extra like I'm just playing the side missions you know what I mean and and like money is is definitely a cool thing but I don't put my moral compass on money like I'm talking experiences like you know, going out into nature, skydiving, rafting, and paragliding, spending time with my family, giving, you know, I've given multiple family members vehicles, like all those things that intertwine, but the money isn't the pinpoint. And that's what a lot of people don't we need to realize that the money is not where your happiness is going to, you know, always be, you know, at the same leverage of, you know, happiness and money, like going up at the same time. It's not going to be like that. It allows you to impact more people, but it can't be your North Star. The North Star has to be the feeling you get from impacting people. And that's the feeling I get every single day. And that's where I get my high from now. That's where I feel like, you know, that that's the piece of, you know, community that I need every single day to keep myself going and excited so I can feel like I'm contributing back. But, but yeah, guys, that was, it was incredible. I had an amazing conversation with my mother after and just let her know that I appreciate her for <laughs> giving me life two times, not just once, but two times. And, uh, um, you know, I cried with her on the phone after and I'm just... I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm like happy to be alive, man. Because there's plenty of times where I shouldn't even be here, but I fucking did it. And I mean, if you made it this far in the video, then I love you. <laughs> if you never need any help, guys, um, you know, I'm here. I got you. I've been an open door, sharing stories, sharing up, sharing down, sharing epiphanies, being vulnerable because I think that's what we should all know is that, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be who we are because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? It might change somebody else's life and you just brought life to somebody else. And what are we here to do? Live life. I love you guys. Take care and have the best holiday season. And like I said, I love you. Bye.